Hello there people, this is Bruce Be Cool or Nintendo Bruce. Both the same, but not quite. And while you ponder on that, it's time to play Yu-Gi-Oh! 5Ds on the Xbox 360. And today we are up against Ben. Now, he has a bit of an odd deck which hopefully I can explain properly to you. Uh, hopefully you won't have too much trouble with him, so let's go through it and develop a strategy, shall we? So, he's basically got a negation uh, deck uh, while concentrating on attacking as well. A uh, bit of an odd one, but apparently his type of deck is the kind of meta I believe they call it in Yu-Gi-Oh! Um, basically meaning it's quite popular. So, what it concentrates on is negation, stocking special summoning, uh, in a way, just trying to attack you without any counters, basically, as what will be demonstrated here. Uh, this is one of his main beat sticks, the Doom Caliber Knight, where, as soon as an effect activates, he just tributes himself, whether he likes it or not, to negate it. So, unfortunately, no draw for me. So, other than that, what else has he got? I've mentioned Special Summoning. Now, with that, he's got a card called Royal Oppression, three of them, I believe. Uh, continuous Trap card, which basically means pay 800 life points and you can negate a Special Summon. Pretty simple, really, but can be irritating if you do rely on Special Summoning and Synchro Summons and things like that. So do be a bit wary there. Uh, the Doom Caliber Knights, he's got three of as well. That's a 1900 Beast stick, and that's one of his more powerful monsters. Um, he also has uh, Thunder King Ray, as he's just displaying now, and some Diner Fossil something or other. Basically, it's a weak monster, but when it's flip summoned, it destroys all special summoned monsters on the field. And Thunder King Ryu, besides uh, people not being able to draw a particular card from their deck, they uh, he contribute himself to negate a special summon as well. So I've said special summon God knows how many times without my tongue getting too tied. So you get the point. Try to have a deck which doesn't rely on special summoning against him. Now what he's also shown is he's got Banisher of the Light, uh, or oh, sorry, Banisher of the Radiance, my mistake, where it has the same effect as Banisher of the Light, where whatever card is used or gets uh, destroyed just gets removed from play instead of ending up in the graveyard. Now he also has a dimensional prison which basically when you attack you activate the trap card and the monster is removed from play. So again a bit of removal in there as well. Other than that he doesn't have much to beat you down with. He's got a cyber dragon as long as he you know doesn't try to special summon it when he's got a card which stops him special summoning it if that makes sense. But yeah He's got quite a few magic and traps, so it might be an idea to have, again, Royal Decree, a Heavy Storm and the like. I've noticed in a few of my videos I'm mentioning about having Royal Decree lately, but coincidentally enough, the last couple of uh, people I've been dueling do have a lot of trap cards, so it is well worth it, especially with the continuous trap cards that these guys have as well. He's also got Solemn Judgment to try and negate things happening on the, uh, on the field which can be a pain, but again knocks down their life points, so don't worry too much with that. In terms of what deck's good against him, well, we've ruled out special summoning decks because he does concentrate on removing the special summoned monsters. Stallers aren't too bad against him. Yes, he's got some negation, but only the usual, like Heavy Storm and Solemn Judgment. Everything else is usually safe, really. He doesn't have Mobius, the Frost Monarch, to try and destroy your magic and traps, or anything else random like that. So yeah, Stalling isn't bad. Burn deck, uh, what I'm using now, an Exodia deck is quite nice, although uh, my field is pretty clear at the moment. And I'm going to take a bit of a gamble here, and we'll see what happens, whether I get my backside kicked or not. Let's see what card I pick. So what, let's remove his Banisher of the Radiance just in case. In fact, an Exodia deck might not be good against him if he's got Banisher of the Radiance on the field because things like Mystic Tomatoes and whatnot rely on the graveyard. But hey, that's only three cards that he's got in his deck anyway, so wouldn't worry too much about that. And hopefully he'll summon something so I can use my Torrential Tribute. Anyway, what else is good against him? So, if you can get it early, swarming the field isn't too bad, as long as you can finish him in a turn or two. 
although that is quite a tall order, so do be careful. So things like Black Wings, if he uses his Dino Fossil or whatever, then he flip summons it and destroys all the special summon Black Wings that you've had, so not good. General beatdowns are quite good against him, so high attack monsters, you know, go for it. He does have Shrink, which isn't too much of an issue, he's only got two of those, I think, one or two of them. So, yeah. Other than that, I think you get the general gist. So, to summarise, try and avoid special summoning if you can. Uh, if you had to swarm, then do it very, very early on before he starts developing his field. And watch out with him removing certain cards from play. So, with that in mind, I'll let you watch the rest of the video. You know, by all means, as always, comment, uh, any suggestions, you know, note them down as well, or send me a PM, and uh, I'll do my best to answer. Anyway, you guys take care, and I'll catch you again soon.